welcome to the channel today. Today we are going to talk about getting rid of cockroaches, killing cockroaches. Now here's a simple homemade method, things that you should have pretty much around in the house. First of all, um, you can use directions say one half cup of this, one half, uh, half cup of shampoo, one half cup of vinegar, and one half cup of oil. I'm just going to simply use one package of sun silk, a double one, okay? Put it into here. Sorry, boy, that one's... Put it into my measuring cup. Got so much. Pour that into my cup. Took the same amount with oil put it in there, we're good to go there. And the same amount with vinegar. Okay? Any vinegar, any oil. Okay? Then you put it together. Simply stir it up. Stir it together. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be a solution that is good for killing cockroaches as well as mosquitoes. So if you stir it up really, really nice, and have a spray bottle. Should have a spray bottle. <clears throat> now, this is what I read online. So if this works, then I'll be posting it. Okay? So you simply take it like that, pour it into a spray bottle. And voila. Now, as you can see, I just made a small amount only because my wife thought it was rather silly for me to make this. But you know what? You got to try it. And if it works, guess how much? Eight pesos, a um, little bit of oil, a little bit of, get, bit of vinegar. For less than 20 pesos, I made this this amount. Okay? I'm going to be spraying it onto a surface. I'll be doing that later on tonight uh, before I go to bed, go to sleep, and we will see what happens tomorrow. All right? Thank you. And uh, obviously you'll see what happens here, but uh, you know, we try to do whatever we can to stay safe and whatever. Now that Adeline is pregnant, we are going to take care of those. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, as you can see, right there, I sprayed it on. Uh, again, I didn't, you know, I didn't have that much because my wife was so paranoid about it about that I was going to spend 16 pesos but I poured it on there I did see a cockroach when I was spraying so we will find out tomorrow so stay with us okay everybody um, the last one I did it works okay but the problem is with that is you need to keep spraying the area so that it stays wet so that it gets on the cockroaches so the next one I'm going to do here is a, it's a different one and this is this is one that uses this this one here uses borax now what borax does I'm sorry Borax and sugar. Two parts borax, one part sugar. Okay, and what that does is that the sugar draws the cockroaches, it kind of caught, draws them close to, to it and eats and gets it. And the borax will take and basically dry out their insides. Borax is the same thing that you can 
used for making slime. Um, so any of these, any of these slime, uh, slime people would know that borax is, you know, is what you do is you mix it with glue, and what it does is it takes the moisture out of the glue and makes it into slime. So what I did was I put them in these here, and you can see I just put it up. That's that's one that's one part. This is one part sugar. And here is another part, and as you can see, this is borax. Okay, I bought this online here in the Philippines in Lazada for 22 pesos per 100 grams. Now, I bought two of them because I wanted to do two parts, two parts borax, one part sugar. Okay, so it cost me 44 pesos plus 40 pesos for shipping and handling. So it was 84 pesos. Now the sugar that I bought, I bought this one here, which is a fourth of a uh, kilo for 18 pesos. Okay, I you let's just say I used half of it. Okay, so we're talking nine pesos. So if this works here, this now comes to 93 pesos and the one nice thing about this is it does make a bunch of it so what we're going to do is we're going to pour it in the container i'm going to pour the sugar in next and then i'm going to pour the rest of the borax so as you can see this makes a good amount okay i'm going to simply stir it with a Spoon. Now you could do it any way you want, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just doing it this way. You want to stir it up really good so you get it mixed up because it'll just work that much better. Okay. And let me see in the bottom, that looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to put it in two different containers, or two different bowls, I should say, so that they can come and get, get out of there. And then I'm going to put one bowl underneath the kitchen sink, and another bowl I'm going to put in the bathroom tonight, and check and see. I do believe that the cockroaches are coming from the kitchen sink and going into the bathroom, but... You don't know so better to be safe than sorry so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in just put enough into the bottom of this okay so as you can see I got it roughly roughly there so you can yeah you can actually see that pretty decent that's good Okay, so that's what that's what we're gonna do. And as you can see, there's a lot left. So if this works, you'll know about it tomorrow. And then there'll be plenty enough where we can pass it around um, to the other tenants or to the other people in there or wherever they are, or we just save it for later or one another time when we're doing it. So guys, if you're gonna see this video, definitely did work. Okay, so as you can see, it worked. I killed one of them, I smashed one, the other one I didn't, so obviously it did work. Now, this is what I ended up doing. I had them in that container right there, and I just started pouring it in here, pouring it out. So I'm sure there's probably some more around there, but because of my eyesight, I really can't see that well. Um, so, anyway, there it is there. And we will see tomorrow, we'll find some more. Okay, so thank you.